you still afraid of the birds? Yeah, I, mean, I, I still have a classroom there. <laughs> I guess it's, it's a little too chilly for me. It's, it's not as bad. Craig, could you just talk a little bit about what, what you think about this week as you go through it, having you know all, all this time here and three coaches and just all the ups and downs? Uh, it's been fun. I mean, you know, we get a few laughs out of it now. You know, when it comes to it. But, uh, it's been fun. It's definitely been an experience. Um, if I had to do it again, I probably would. Because, I mean, I, I've learned a bunch. You can always learn more from three coaches than you can from one. So if I ever decide to coach one day, I'll be able to slow it down, speed up, go to that post. <laughs> 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 uh, I can find a place to do that. I'll be able to do it all. So if you were to coach, you'd be a combination of Tubby Smith, Billy Gillespie, and John Calipari? Yes. And what would that guy be like? Uh, he'd be funny. <laughs> Um, intense and a little crazy. <laughs> and that's for you to decide which qualities, <laughs> which qualities go with Curry, how would you can give a lot of two on each of the three coaches off the top of your head? Um, I, guess, I, I enjoy playing with Coach Smith. I, mean, I guess not, not everybody would give. 6'9", 190 guy, an opportunity to play at this high level. I mean, he he believed in me and thought I could do it. And that's pretty much part of the reason I came to play for him, along with the, the fans and the, the tradition. Uh, Coach G was just intense, I mean, always intense, 24-7. He had a funny side, but I mean, he had to scratch a claw to see it. But, he, he was also a good guy. Deep down, uh, I do believe he was. Because, I mean, he gave everybody an opportunity. And Coach Cal is just always honest. I mean, he's, he's just a winner. I don't, I don't see anything better about him. I mean, he's just a winner. And he's a really good guy. He tells you the truth, what you need to hear, and he doesn't shit with anything. You want to coach him? Uh, maybe. I mean, I'm... I'm not completely sold on the idea of coaching. I mean, I know how hard some players are to deal with. And I'm one of the good guys, and I'm pretty sure I was hard to deal with. I'm not sure. <laughs> Apparently, the other remark around me to you is having gone through this journey with them and not leaving them. They, those two guys, I'll probably remember them the most. I mean, those two guys have been in this position with me through three coaches. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm prob if they change their numbers, I'm, I'm going to be pretty upset about it. <laughs> I might have to give them a call, a text, every now and then, just, just to see how they're doing. But those, those guys are pretty special. Man. We've been through a lot. Here, I have the same question I asked for a moment. You, you were a starter, played a considerable amount of minutes this year, more coming off the bench, not as many minutes. Was that hard to deal with in any way? No, not at all. I mean, uh, being a starter ended up in the NIT, but <laughs> I mean, coming off the bench, we're like number three, four in the country, and we playing for a number one seed in the tournament. So I don't, I don't have a problem changing rules because it was for the better. 